Hi everybody and thank you for tuning in to globalshells.org tutorial on setting up Edcast for Shoutcast and Icecast audio streaming through Winamp. Uh, to get started we're going to go down and we're going to open up our web browser which sometimes for me that takes a second to load up la di da di da di okay now that it's open we are going to go to www.odsock.org slash tools slash edcast e-d-c-a-s-t now that we're at the website we have three download versions we have Winamp, Fubar, and Standalone and we're gonna focus on the Winamp so we're gonna click the link download it and we're going to download it to our download folder which we'll now open and here we'll see Edcast Winamp we want to double click that file and select run if a security warning pops up this will go through the process of installing Edcast here we have the license agreement and uh, we'll hit I agree now for encoding I like to encode with mp3 and so we want to choose the lame encoder for this selection here and hit next and the next step that we're going to want to do is choose our the destination folder for where Winamp was installed so once we find that we're going to hit install uh, it should choose it by default next we have a pop-up because the lame encoder has some legal ties to it the program cannot install it by default so we need to hit yes to this pop-up and it'll load our web browser and bring us to a website that we will use to download the file we want to click on lame libraries and we want to hit download on the first link that's the lame underscore enc dot dll uh, we'll hit download we'll save it again to our download folder uh, once it's finished downloading we can uh, close our browser open our download folder again uh, we can hit close on this uh, screen we'll open our download folder and we'll find the lame DLL uh, zip file we want to unzip it, unarchive it and choose both the files here we're going to either cut or copy the files and we're going to now navigate to our Winamp install directory so we can scroll down to Winamp and we want to now paste these files in our Winamp directory. Uh, if they already exist, you can move and replace, that's fine. It won't harm the files any. Now that we've done this, we can close our file explorer and we can go ahead and open Winamp. We're all set to configure Edcast now. Uh, now that Winamp is open, we want to right click on the screen and we're going to go to preferences and once we're in preferences we now want to scroll down to the DSP slash effect page and that's a tab within the preferences and you'll see Edcast DSP is now loaded under the list once we click it it'll load the Edcast window we can close our preferences and now we can get ahead with configuring Edcast uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to click add encoder and now with the new encoder that was added we're going to right click and hit configure uh, we want to start by going down to the encoder type it is set by default to OGG Vorbis and that's fine or we can switch it to mp3 lame uh, when we do that we have to choose our bitrate uh, 128 is a good bitrate 192 is the highest that you're allowed to use on global shells so I like to stick with 128 it's a good range where you can get a lot of listeners and not a lot of them complain about the quality of it uh, the sample rate is fine the channels are fine uh, the next step is the server type uh, today we're going to be setting up an icecast 2 server so we'll make sure that that is selected from the drop down list edcast can handle both shoutcast and icecast for the server IP we're going to go ahead and enter radio.gshells.org 
that is the server that the radio is hosted on. The port is 8000 and our mount point is going to be the username that you were given when you signed up for your shell. Uh, for me that is Sir Crazy. Uh, now the encoder password. This password is written down on a post in our forums. Uh, it was done so only members have access to it and you'll be able to add this password once you become a member. Uh, next we have our yellow pages settings and what those yellow pages settings do is this is when we broadcast publicly which we do uh, by default this is what our stream is going to be called. Uh, for me I'm gonna name it uh, we'll name it Sir Crazy Spot. This is my place for everybody to come hang out and listen to music. Uh, the stream description yeah we could just put come enjoy some fine music. It's a nice description. Uh, the stream URL we can either leave this blank or we can put in uh, HTTP uh, colon slash slash oh had a little typo there TTP colon slash slash radio dot g shells dot org slash sir crazy dot m three u now the m three u at the end that is our playlist file this is what's played by VLC Winamp Windows Media Player and connects to the server uh, for the genre I play all genres of music the next tab is our advanced settings uh, you can archive the stream if you'd like but it does take up a lot of disk space I leave it unchecked so that's it now we have everything saved we can hit OK and it's saved so now we can try and connect to it. And I'll connect to one that I set up with the real password. Uh, if it works, it should say connected right away. We add our music, and we're good to go. Thank you very much for tuning in to Sir Crazy's tutorial on setting up EdCast with Winamp for the Global Shell's radio server. Thank you very much.